I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh, then the fifth time, he cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is... He came into this bar as a stranger. But he left it as family. <clears throat> Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now... Now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. Well, I didn't... I didn't hear Gabe make the call. But he told us he got through. Well, if Gabe said something, then I'm inclined to believe him, Mac. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with... Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Hey, maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like, it's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. 
Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, and Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just trying... I'm not the one who killed him. Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, hell. I'm just saying. I thought I heard that you were the one. you shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not That's you? That's it. Wake's over. Everyone, out. Alex? Hey, fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? Not really. But I, I will be. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you, um, it's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we took this a year ago. We. They kept it.
I just need a minute. Yeah, uh, no problem. Calm down, Alex. You're fine. You're fine. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. out what's really going on with Steph. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm! Badass. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? find out why Steph is so upset. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah, he's the whole reason I'm still. I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. First to five points? If you say so. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm.
You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Five points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Okay, okay. Joking aside, playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. win. I was actually trying that time. <laughs> okay, wait. Let's get serious. One more game, winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion. Mm, I don't know. Oh, come on. You know Gabe would be all about his playing like this. Well, then it's settled. <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Totally. Hey, so are you into girls or what? <laughs> I'll date anybody, assuming they're my type. <laughs> What's your type? I'll let you know when I meet them. This is what?
Damn it. You're on to me. Much better loser than Gabe. That's no fun. Sorry to spoil the victory. <sighs> it's kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back, no matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Bye. I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? See, I can be a person. to start. Not much to toast at the moment.
Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. I wanted to apologize. For all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to Earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> I... I have no idea what to even say to him. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary. Three, if I want. Hey, Pike. Hey! 
Um, how you holding up? Guess I've been better. Yeah, right. Dumb question. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah, that's what everyone's been saying. And, uh, when you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. I think I'll be ready soon. Yeah. Yeah. No rush. Bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Wanna do something together next week? Sure. I have a pottery class Wednesday night. Oh, sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Charlotte? Alex, hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah, distractions help. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. I hear he's been having a rough time. He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Everyone grieves differently. Maybe he just needs some time. We've been through a lot together. With the divorce and moving. He's never shut down like this. I just can't get through to him. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death Escape. What is this? An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges in exchange for a payment. A big one. How big are we talking? It's send Ethan to college big. Shit. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? I don't 
think you should sign it. I'm sorry. I know it's hard, but you can't let Typhon buy you off. Gabe made that call, and I'm going to prove it. I just... I need some time. Thanks for being honest. If they're willing to pay Charlotte to keep quiet, they're definitely hiding something. I really appreciate you stopping. Sweet logo. Bet Charlotte designed it herself. These bougie dispensaries are gonna put all the creepy dudes named Jean out of business. Given the circumstances, I could definitely go for a few of these. Man, these things better do the trick. I'm averaging, like, three hours a night. Pro tip? Insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere, and THC is way better at treating it when you're also tackling the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day. When did you start needing a PhD to smoke pot? Stairway to Haven? Believe it or not, Gabe named that one. Oh God, put some clothes on. I really love Charlotte's style. There's something you don't see in Portland. That's a Zemi. In the Dominican, they're said to house the spirits of gods. Mostly, I just like how it looks. It, of course, she's right. But I could really use that money. We can't give in, no matter how hard it is. Wonder what it's like to have I do my drugs out of a glass sculpture type of money. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Guess they didn't feel like painting the mine. Hey, Riley. Hey. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him so much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad you had him. He was a really good guy, Alex. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them. Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right.
Do you think he could have ignored Gabe's call? I mean, do you think he's capable of that? I don't want to believe that, but... Sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. Are you sure? Sometimes talking about it can help you sort it all out. I'm just not there yet. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. I think she just wants me to end up happy. That's really sweet. She's the most selfless person I know. She's lucky to have you. Thanks. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. I don't want to push Riley, but I need to know more about Mac. How do I get her to open up? It's fine. I love being on hold. I love this song. Finally. Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Okay, time to figure out why she's afraid. Fading. Fading. I, feel I feel broken. broken. If, Riley if Riley finds, finds out, out, she can't, she can't find, find out. out. Thank you, dear. I'll get started on it right away. 
Just come by with the check whenever you're free. Doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. If they know about my condition, they'll make me close this place. just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I... Forget what you were working on? <sighs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. You could focus on something else for a bit and see if it comes back. I suppose. But I can't help feeling like it was something important. Whatever it was. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, I'm, uh, I don't want to keep you. <sighs> hey. I... I want to help. What would Eleanor have done first? You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in, and then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. <sighs> Goodness. What was the order for? order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. The 
check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. You know Jed. Probably doesn't know the difference between a lily and a tulip. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sell him short. He's more clever than he seems. Thanks again for your help. Don't be a stranger. I won't. Promise. She would. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Buy your chicken coop? Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Steph asked me to swing by. She's gotta be around here somewhere. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Stormrider looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> All right then. Oh. I I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. It'd be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Hey, uh, Haven listeners, that was Phone Tap with their new How could Chrissy leave me? 
after everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music, but maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. Sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year, so bring your fr friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. Helpful. It'll be different this time. Oh, looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. There's beauty and simplicity. Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Let's go with distortion field. How did I meet Thanor? It was a dark and stormy night. This LARP thing just might work. Still going. Maybe I'll get to hear her play sometime. How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music, but maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. Wait, Chrissy? She's a dog? Val, I just want to be friends. Helpful. I can't believe he ordered that record. Fuck. <laughs> It's sweet. She's planning a whole LARP for Ethan. Hey, you posted about a lost dog, right? I think they have her over at Todd's Hardware. Are you serious? Uh, thank you so much. I I'll call them right now. Hi, I'm calling about the lost dog. Chrissy? Is she okay? Oh, thank God. Is she there now? Oh, awesome. Yes, thank you so much. The adventures of Thanor are about to get real. The town of Haven Springs would like to remind listeners no of the sweat. upcoming council vote regarding I'll mining wait. in Haven. Further information is available at Town Hall. On these warm spring days, thanks do you again. Just want to be buried Me and Chrissy alive owe you an one. Avalanche of sweet you bet. If your answer is yes, you are super weird. Please stay home. The rest it's of sweet. She's planning a whole LARP for Ethan. Down at Avalanche Ice Cream, family owned and operated since 1993. Still with us, kind Haven listeners? Good. Your reward is music. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge?
can't hide from me forever, Mac. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. I'm really sorry he died. And I appreciate that you... You didn't out me to Riley the other night, but I can't talk to you. I get it. He died on your shift, and you're freaked. But you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Acting like this. Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Do you want to talk about Mac? Yeah, I get it. It's just, if he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him I had to think about it, but... Alex, I... I'm scared. He did something horrible. Riley. Thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. Everyone's out to get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! Good. He's scared. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. I got Riley to tell me about your plans to leave town. That's not something innocent people do. Oh God, it's not. I didn't do anything. <sighs> Fuck off! Leave me alone!
fuck. I'll deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. It's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. It should have been you instead. Alex? No! What the hell? There are people out there! No, I told you to call it off! I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down. But does he deserve it? All right, Mac. Come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? <sighs> Thanks. I actually feel a little better. Yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Yeah, it's... 
Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep- Coming here and playing it back, but it always ends the same. Ryan, he's dead. He's really dead, Alex. It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. Ryan. I owe you my life. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. You were brave this morning. You're brave now. I've never been as brave as you. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. There's only one person holding you responsible for this, Ryan. You need to forgive yourself. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> There's a guy in a gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no. He chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know.
Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something you should know about me. And it's going to be easier to show you than to explain it. This is going to seem sort of weird at first. Then really weird. Do you trust me? Okay, think of something sad, like breaks your heart sad. Really focus until you feel it. Gabe's laugh. We never made anyone laugh like him. You'll, you said you'll never hear it again. <laughs> never a dull moment. <laughs> the kinds of stuff we got up to. <laughs> Glad I was able to help, but I think I'll pass on the kisses. Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. What emotion is this? together. <laughs> Gabe. Goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. The Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. 
What do we do? <laughs> so, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I I feel what they feel, as if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. That, that was pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But now I guess just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but... why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. You're welcome, I guess. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing 
hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you. I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. I said I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. I love you, Gabe. Thank you.